Good Sunday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather with Sim again. I hope you guys are all having a great Sunday so far and as well as a great end to your weekend. And it is January 12th, 2025. And in today's forecast, we are going to be talking about several major winter storms that could be coming to the United States over the next few weeks. And this could even be um, one of the rarest um, snowstorms that we've seen due to some freezing rain, sleet, and even some heavy snowfall that could unfold along the Gulf Coast states. So we will definitely need to watch this closely, especially as we get from January 18th all the way through the 25th of January. So make sure to really be paying attention to this system as this will likely bring some significant impacts, but things could obviously still change. But like I said, we will definitely watch it closely. But if you are new here to the YouTube channel or if you haven't subscribed, already make sure to go down below and click that subscribe button as we upload daily and of course it is great to check back often for updates as we sometimes do more than one video per day depending on how active the weather is so make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already make sure to give this video a thumbs up too as well those help out more than you know and of course those are much appreciated and of course make sure to share this um, with any friends family or any one you know on social media make sure to do that and that would be much appreciated but let's first start off by giving you guys an overview which the weather today is very quiet across the united states the despite some winter storm watches and warnings um, in effect for areas um, over here in the northern Rocky Mountains and as well as the upper Midwest. And we also do have some wildfires ongoing over there around the Los Angeles area. Those are really the only two things um, that are concerning as of right now. But things will likely start getting active again as we get into the next few weeks like I said but we will definitely watch um, those areas that are currently under those warnings as of right now as places like Los Angeles will definitely be dealing with those wildfires over the next few days so we will definitely need to watch that area very closely. Now the main thing we're going to be talking about is several winter storms that could be coming to the United States over the next few weeks starting off with this one on. This one's mainly going to be bringing rainfall, um, but it also will have some snowfall on the northern side of the system. So we will need to watch this system very closely as it is likely to bring some heavy rain down there towards the deep south and southeast and even some heavy snowfall on the northern side of that system. And that's why we're considering a winter storm as this will likely bring some impacts by the time we get into um, the end of this week. So we will definitely need to continue to watch this very closely as this is definitely going to be a concerning winter storm and not only will it be bringing that snowfall but we will also need to watch for maybe some showers and even some thunderstorms to rumble down there across the deep south during the same day so definitely something to really keep an eye on closely as this might even bring a little bit of severe weather and obviously things could still change as we are heading about seven days from now but it's definitely something to keep an eye on, on as we could be seeing that potential for showers, thunderstorms, and like I said, maybe in a little bit of severe weather if things does go as planned. And then after that storm, we will be tracking another big winter storm by the time we get into Wednesday, January 22nd. And this one is actually looking to be um, a very bad one, okay? We're talking almost all along the Gulf Coast states potentially gain on that freezing rain sleet and as well as that heavy snowfall and the reason why we're concerned about this is not only because we aren't heading all the way out to the end of the mall run because we're only heading 234 hours out and this mall goes all the way to 384 hours out but the european model also shows um a winter storm down here in the deep south during a similar time frame just a little bit earlier than the GFS mall but still shows a winter storm down there in the deep south during the same time frame just bringing heavy snowfall as it continues to move eastward so we will definitely need to watch that storm very closely as both the GFS model and the European model agree on a big time winter storm developing down there in the deep south which would definitely be very rare if why not record breaking as this is definitely looking to be 
from a significant winter storm as it rolls on through and obviously things could still change but because we got such good model agreement I would definitely not roll something out like this as we get into January 18th all the way through the 25th of January so we will definitely need to be paying attention to this as it looks concerning already so make sure to be on high alert now after that we will be tracking a huge polar vortex guys a huge polar vortex possibly surging on in by the time we get into january 20th which could bring negatives to much of the northern united states with single digits even gain as far down south as the tennessee river valley and you know of course those 30s 30s and um even those 20s could even get as far down south as the deep south which is why we are going to be seeing that potential for freezing rain so definitely make sure you guys are paying attention as this could potentially even be the coldest air for years for some of you guys so make sure you guys are all being on high alert out there as this will more than likely impact millions as it surges on in so this is definitely something to really keep an eye on very closely as even the dakotas minnesota and wisconsin could all even get down into um the negatives like literally well into the negatives we're talking temperatures as low as negative 34 potentially in some areas so definitely make sure you guys are all getting ready for this as it is not looking great for a lot of you guys now um, another sign that we could be seeing a winter storm um, despite the models already showing one right now is that the latest from the clamp prediction center outlook um, does want to show that there is going to be that potential for some type of winter storm by the time we get from january 18th all the way through the 24th of january pretty much somewhere in this corridor and I'm just going to be honest with you guys, this could even shift farther down to the south, especially given the fact that we um, are seeing that winter storm being shown on the malls right now. I would not be surprised if this did shift farther down to the south like this, to where it included much of the Gulf Coast states. So we will definitely need to watch this very closely, as the Clamp Prediction Center also agrees on a winter storm during that time frame. It's just how intense it will be, where exactly it will set up, and if it's really going to be heavy snowfall or freezing rain is what's going to remain uncertain, but it's definitely something to watch for as this is not looking great for a lot of you guys so make sure you guys are all being on high alert out there now the final things we're going to take a look at is your total freezing rain your total snowfall and yeah per perhaps um even um if we are going to be seeing freezing rain or snowfall and yeah Starting off with your total freezing rain, we are going to be tracking um, some big um, time freezing rain anywhere from the Texas region all the way back up there into the Carolinas, and this does not go till January 2nd, and we already passed that. Guess this goes all the way to January 23rd, so we will definitely need to watch this very closely as the GFS mall does show widespread freezing rain with that winter storm that we just talked about, so we will definitely need to be watching watching that closely even even though the european mall does not show as much it still does show some which is another concerning sign of a winter storm it's just it's just that it doesn't show it as intense but still we will need to watch the um areas down there in the deep south closely as the european mall also does show some freezing rain as well now if we compare that to your total snowfall starting off with the gfs mall we will likely get a lot of heavy snowfall over there in the higher elevations out there in the west and we will likely even get some snowfall even over here across parts there of the midwest great lakes ohio valley and as well as the new england region if you and if you look down here you guys can already see how we're already getting any anywhere from four to six inches of snowfall already showing on the GFS model down there across the deep south. So we will definitely need to watch that area very closely as even the European model shows snowfall developing across that same area, but shows it much more widespread as it even heads into the Atlanta region, which could be at risk for experiencing another winter storm, guys. 
like I said, this is just crazy, and of course, this is also very rare. This is something that we typically wouldn't see, but we will definitely need to watch this very closely, as this is more than likely going to be a pretty devastating winter storm as it rolls on through. So what I would recommend doing is getting all your winter gear out, and of course, um, checking and staying informed on the weather forecast, um, so that way you guys all know what to do as this is really going to start ramping up up over the next few days but we will see what happens obviously things could still change but like I said we are pretty certain about this as we do have some pretty good agreement even with the climate prediction center but thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy today's weather forecast make sure to subscribe to the channel as we do upload daily and like I said it's even good to check back often for updates as we sometimes do more than one video per day depending on how active the weather is so make sure to do do that if you haven't done that already and like I said make sure to also share this with any friends family or even anyone who you know on social media make sure to please do that and that would be much appreciated don't forget to don't forget to give the video a thumbs up too as well those help out more than you know and once again those are much appreciated and of course make sure to leave any questions comments or concerns that you guys have down below feel free to leave anything down below and I'll get to those comments in just a second and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your Sunday. Sunday, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.